Yeah, Jen told me there's a very famous bake shop here in Kunsan. So we're in Kunsan, Starbucks. I actually want to go to the other Starbucks. There's only one other one. No, there is one near a university. Yeah. So today, Termi's having brewed coffee as usual. That's what he only drinks in Starbucks. Yes. And I'm having a very fattening green tea frappuccino with cheesecake syrup, whatever. And this is actually a new product. It's a summer fruit pudding. Yeah. So I got this because I love the cup. So, Bunch, can you help? Can you remove the, the cup? But, but try not to tear the paper. Yeah, I also collect those. Careful. Don't tear. Design. Exactly fitting. Uh, I don't know. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Can I see the cup? I like it because it has a uh, pineapple. Pineapple designs. So I think there is pineapple. Can you can you open it, please? Can you remove the the plastic lid? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, I'll try first. Uh, uh, you like pudding? Before, I didn't like you know, any jelly kind of stuff. But I'm Try. Mm. I'm hungry. It has nata de coco. You know the coconut jelly from the Philippines? Correct. But there are a lot of nata de coco from Thailand now. Mom, don't eat too much. Oh, enough. Yeah. So you ask the barista guy, where can we find the best jampong? What is jampong? Can you explain to your viewers? Jampong is a kind of noodles. Uh, but the, the unique point is this. People just, uh, they put a lot of uh, spicy, spicy things. Like what? Usually, like what a, ingredient? They just put uh, some kind of powder mm -hmm. made of the uh, red pepper. You know, just uh, they had the red pepper, they pick it up with the coffee. Yeah. And they just dry it out in the sunlight yeah. for a couple of days. Oh. Yeah, and then they just you know, grind it. Oh. It's just a, it's just a very fine. How the powder come, comes out after grinding the red, dry the red pepper. So they, they use the, 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 the powder. What are the main ingredients of a jampong? Main is, uh, of course, noodle. And? But I, I especially like uh, hand pulled noodle. Yeah, I hope this one we're going to is hand pulled. Temple noodle, that's made, and then a soup, very spicy, very soup. Usually they put seafood, right? Yeah, it depends on the chef. Mm. But the commonly they just put the seafood, like a sweet, yeah. and uh, some kind of crab, yeah. and the shellfish, kind of salmon. Yeah. Some restaurants, which are very famous, they put the uh, so on one whole octopus. What? <laughs> How big? Maybe this side. Ah, okay. They're kind of generous. And a lot of uh, measles. Muscles. Ah, muscles. Measles is a disease, yeah. bunch. <laughs> what if you eat the jampong and you get measles? <laughs> yeah, you got the right to go to a hospital. You get the measles from the muscles. Yeah. Shellfish, yeah? Yes, shellfish. And some squid. 
squid strips. Yeah. Ojingo. Ojingo. Ojingo is squid. And yeah. Other uh, vegetables like onion, carrot. Yeah. Cool. Especially I like the uh, has spices. Yeah, and you really enjoy it when your nose gets so runny, and you're almost crying because it's too spicy. Yeah, I, but I, you enjoy I, that, right? I gotta, I gotta prepare tissue, a lot of tissue inside yeah. me. So I'm just, uh, I need to take care of my nose. Yeah. Sometimes the nose is coming out while yeah. eating that spicy one. Yeah. So I gotta clean up my nose. Oh, cool. So after finishing the jump, I can see a pile of used the paper uh, t-shirt paper inside. Yeah. Sunny said we have to queue for about an hour to get into that famous jump yeah. place. Yeah. The yeah, barista said uh, the, the one of the most famous uh, jump yeah. restaurants in Busan, which is very near from this place, mm -hmm. is the Chinese Song. Yeah. Yeah, Chinese. So it takes Chinese. 20 minutes from yeah, here. It takes 20 minutes. He said uh, it's kind of a, take a long to walk. So better take. Better a take taxi. a taxi. But, yeah. Uh, now I just search the map. The way we can take a bus. Yeah. Take a bus. So I just found some bus number. Yeah. So maybe we can try later. So it's not that far. Our bus. But yeah. the bus comes only once an hour. I think that's wrong information. Yeah. How could possibly just uh, have the bus in every yeah. hour? Just like in LA. It is not, a not very commuter friendly. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. So, Bunch, this is our first uh, video blog. We're gonna start our own uh, YouTube channel So we'll be traveling around and uh, you'll be I'll be the interviewer and you're my interviewee Yeah, That's cool. and also cool. Yeah How many years have you been speaking English with me? We lived, uh, Since 1995? Years, I met you in 1995. Yeah, 23 years. So I'm Almost 23 years. years, yeah. But still, you know, you're not a native speaker. I'm also not a native speaker, but, you know, speaking 23 years, we still have grammatical mistakes or some words you get confused. Like today, you said measles uh, instead of muscles. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. You just charge. Yeah. Correction. Yeah, but correction means you get better, right? Yeah. And you're not offended by the correction, right? Uh, no problem. It's very constructive yeah. uh, to make you more fluent. Yeah. And the same with me, you know. 17 years living in Korea, but still not that fluent. Still uh, kindergarten level Korean fluency. Yeah. <coughs> so that's it for our first video vlog. Video blog. It's called the V blog, but vlog. So till next time, see ya.